Hello, good morning. Oh, how was your sleep? 6 a.m. and the stress of everyday life kicks in. Family, home, work, over and over again. We need at least a minimal amount of stress to give us enough energy to get through the day. But a busy daily lifestyle can have a negative effect on our bodies. In a special lab at Arizona State University, researchers are investigating exactly what stress does to a body. Kathy Matt and her research team are proving what most of us already know deep inside. That stress is not just in our mind. Stress, good or bad, it's not just psychological, it's physiological as well. So stress from rush hour traffic actually shows up as a chemical in the blood. In these samples, we are measuring cortisol, which is a stress hormone. When our body detects stress, it lets out two hormones, adrenaline to help our body react quickly and with more force, and cortisol, which gives us the energy we need for that quick physical push. That's great when you're being chased by a lion. But when the baby is crying, you don't need a physical boost. Unfortunately, the body can't tell the difference between the two types of stress. But in a psychological stress, you're not utilizing fuel. You're not depleting fuel sources. And yet, you are increasing this cortisol. Dr. Matt and her team have assembled a series of tests to show the effects of stress I'm on the body. I'm going to take you up 2.5%, OK? As the speed of the treadmill goes up, so does the heart rate and breathing. All right, here we go. There right now, the adrenaline and cortisol levels are booming. Here we go, all you got. And while the heart rate and oxygen levels show this woman is releasing a lot of stress hormones, she's also exploiting every bit of energy they create. Good job, way to go. So she passes the first test. Her body deals with physical stress pretty well. But what about mental stress? It's vital that you perform at your highest capable level for each of the tests. With the pressure on, Yellow, come on, Elisa, as green, fast as you can. Yellow, green, the heart races, red, the blood red. pressure rises. Again, those stress hormones are kicking in. Three times one, three, three times this time, the chemicals do not seem as compatible with the situation. Under constant psychological stress, the body releases cortisol but doesn't burn the extra fuel, and that leads to all sorts of problems. And I want you to put your fingers straight down. This machine checks bone density. Too much cortisol erodes the bone, potentially leading to problems that can affect our longevity. Here's your bone density, so you're really right on, again, this uh, norm. So far, so good. According to the researchers' guidelines, this woman shows no long-term effects from psychological stress. But that doesn't mean she can just ignore it. Putting the body through the stress of exercise trains it to relieve psychological stress and keeps us lean, too. And remember, not all stress is bad. Every now and then, we need a good dose of those hormones to help us get to the end of the day.